What up everybody, it's Nobi and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 21 player review. We are at level 30 of this season in FIFA and in this episode we're gonna take a look at 87 rated storyline Sessegno and see if he is worth the grind. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, if you enjoy the content, if it's helpful in any kind of way, please smash that subscribe button, help the channel grow to 5000 subs. Alright guys, let's do this shit. So first things first, Ryan Sessegno, 5 for 10, high medium work rate is ideal for a winger, left footed with 4 star, 4 star, this all looks very good. Taking a look at the pace, we see a 92 pace with 91 acceleration and 92 sprint speed, so that is phenomenal. Also the agility and balance is beautiful with 93 and 96 and he has 94 composure, so this guy with that height, the pace and the agility balance composure, he will feel very very smooth in game. He also has 84 dribbling, 89 ball control and 86 reactions. The shooting stats look also very good with 93 attack positioning, 90 finishing, shot power 84 a little bit low and long shot 71 is also a little bit on the lower side. So if you use him on the wing you really have to cut inside the box to shoot at goal. For this card I will drop a hunter cam style on him just to max out the pace up to 99 and you will get a nice 98 attack positioning and 99 finishing. With those stats I think he can perform really well as a striker with that finishing, that pace and those turns from the agility and balance. If we look at the passing stats we also see very good stats, 88 vision and short pass is of course beautiful, 75 long pass is a little bit on the low side especially for a winger. He does have 91 crossing which is uh, one of the highest crossings in the game that is very good with that 86 curve. Downside to this card might be the physicals, 70 strength is a little bit low, 72 aggression also so he will get bullied off the ball by most defenders, he does have 87 stamina. For player traits he does have the finesse shot trait, no flare, no outside foot but he does have 4 star, 4 star. To be fair this player looks phenomenal and I cannot wait to try him out in game and see how he performs. So this is the team that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put in some players I haven't played a lot with, I'm gonna do a classic match in friendly mode so yeah few of the lone icons of course it is always fun to play with these. So to start with Fernando Torres and Mbappe they will be the strikers. Left mid will be Sessegno, Guendouzi on the midfield with Maradona and Figo, Sinkraf and Boateng haven't used these players uh, before, Puyo also I haven't used him before, Zanetti and Van de Sar in goal. Obviously in game I'm gonna try Sessegno out as a striker and Torres will be on the left wing. He is the one. Watch out for the counter, oh come on, Guendouzi, Guendouzi is too slow, Sinkraf and is too late, oh, he's through. Oh man, two minutes in already the counter goal. FIFA 21, welcome back. Oh my days. Let's see if we can get a kickoff glitch. Also FIFA type things with Maradona. Maradona with the skills, heal the heal. That's a little bridge, a little bit out wide. Mbappe, Mbappe with the bridge and the finish. There we go. Typical game of FIFA, one all within six minutes. Maradona. With the pass onto Sessegnon, with the ball roll and the bridge, nice, look at that pace. Cool skill moves and the near post finish, oh my god, that shot power felt like 99 instead of 84, holy moly, what a goal. At it, ooh, Fendasar with the save, can we get a quick counter from this corner, Sessegnon, beautiful skill move, Torres is making a run. Ball goes to Mbappe in the center, Maradona, Maradona loses possession, Torres on to Sessegnon, Sessegnon, that skill move is so effective, oh try to do Croqueta, watch out for that counter again, he's on the wing with Crespo, Boateng isn't the fastest, Sinkraven doesn't have it, and a cheeky little shot to all. I cannot believe this shit! Maradona with the pass onto Sessegnon. Sessegnon with the turn, loses possession, Puyo gets it back, Torres with the 1-2-1-2 one -two, one -two with Sessegnon, Mbappe, Mbappe with the skills onto Sessegnon, heal the heal, Croqueta fails but Mbappe still has it, Torres where's Sessegnon, there he is, with the finesse, oh damn I have to say that shot power is really good. 
It, uh, I know it says only 84, but it feels like 90 plus. What a flaming shot. Gwen Doozy. Onto Sessignon. Sessignon with some space. That's a beautiful pass onto Mbappe. Mbappe, oh, he bottles it. Still possible? No, no, no. But that was good vision by Sessignon. Maradona. Onto Mbappe. Sessignon. With a beautiful through ball onto Mbappe. Oh lord, please finish this one. There we go. Mbappe makes it 4 2. What a great pass by Sessegnon. Ndouzi is too late. Oh wow. When you player switch, sometimes it is so wonky. So wonky that player switching. Mbappe onto Zanetti. With the ball onto Mbappe. Onto Sessegnon. Oh. Sessegnon loses the possession. That was that 70 physicals. Now he got the counter. Is he going to equalize? Oh, Crespo. What a save by Fandasar. Holy moly. Maradona. Onto Zanetti. Zanetti onto Sessegnon. Heal the heel. Croqueta. Space. Oh, look at that push. Beautiful. And the finesse. Oh, wow. 70 strength. Though. He just pushes that defender away. Sessegnon with the hat trick. 5 3 up. Torres. Onto Mbappe. Sessegnon with the step overs. Sessegnon with the finish. What a save. Still possible. Mbappe. Ah, oh, man. How did he bottle that finish? Gets fouled by the opponent. He's a little bit mad, bro. And he's gone. 5 3. Alright, guys, I've played a few matches with Sessegnon, and I think this is one of the best storyline players that we've had so far in FIFA 21 and FIFA 20. He fits the meta of the game perfectly with his pace, his agility, he has some great shooting, and the passing was phenomenal as well with some beautiful through balls. I think this player fits the striker role perfectly with the 4 star, 4 star. He has really quick turns, he's difficult to defend, and he has some good passing as well. So, you can really use this guy in the crowded spaces obviously he would be fine as a winger as well personally i like him as a striker all right guys this was it for this episode hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully it was helpful let me know in the comments what you think of sesenyo who you are going to choose for your level 30 rewards leave a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next vid later